baseball fans and welcome interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Texas Rangers taking on the Miami Marlins ladies and gentlemen first pitch coming at you right after the break Miami Marlins bottom of the first and at the plate for Miami Steve Ojeda leading up for the Marlins the right fielder Steve Ojeda here comes a pitch swing and a miss strike one no one out now no one out A little out front there as he swings through it. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 0 2. And one gone. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now, just disconnected from head to toes in the terms of baseman. the sink of Roots. his body. That's his fifth Nine strike turn. out of the series, and we're just two games in. So, hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And yeah, the batter now, Bruce Kaiser, swings through that one, oh, one. 0 and 1. Righty to the plate. That's in there. And it's 0 and 2. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. Two away. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning. Got to be feeling Batting pretty hurt. good out there on the mound Not because shortstop. when you think of Matthew. just having a distraction, Guns table solid. setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, hey, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. And that one is lifted in the air, makes the grab on the run, and that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Marlins. We played an inning, no score. Back here in Miami, and now Elijah Robinson. Leading off for the Marlins, the designated hitter, Elijah Robinson. Hey, no one down here. Mac, back to work. Down the line towards the corner. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Batting fit. The first baseman, Tommy. And here is Armstrong. Tommy Armstrong. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. On the ground to the left. Whips it to first. Two up, two down. Batting six. The second baseman, Mark Roberts. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Mark Roger. Roberts. 0 for 4 in the loss yesterday. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right-hander kicks deals. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. We'll move to the third with no score. Bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kevin Weinstein. The, Marlins, the catcher. Kevin Weinstein. Mac back to work. Cold strike right there. 
Hey, we got nobody, no one down here. The pitch. And there's a ball. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One and two now. And down on strikes he goes. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Hey, one down, Jaime one down. Salazar getting ready to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. Here we go, boys. There's a strike. Going to count one and two. We're playing 12. One, two. The pitch. Swings and misses. And there's two down. Put that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part curveball, or reverse curveball, I guess. And clearly it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see. And that was a great one right there. Two outs, base is empty. Connor Scott, the next up for the Marlins. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Left hand hitter waits. Just ball. missed. One ball, one strike. Come on, guys. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. And the Marlins down quietly. They trail here, one nothing. Welcome back. Bottom four. Now it's the right fielder, Steve Ojeda. For the Marlins, the pitch. The right fielder, Steve. Oh, that one Ojeda. missed. One zero. -oh. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Flores puts it away, and there's one away. The batter, the third baseman, Bruce Kaiser. Bruce Kaiser, the next up for the Marlins. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And we got one. And that's in there for strike one. No ball. One strike. And the pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's the shortstop, Matthew Gonzalez. In there, and it's 0-1. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Miami down in order. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Lone Depot Park, ready to go for the last half Leader of the inning. Now the it's going to be Elijah Robinson. Hitter. Elijah. Swings Robinson. and misses. That's strike one. 
And a pitch. Bounce to the left side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Up next for the Marlins, the first baseman, Tommy Armstrong. And now for the Marlins, Tommy Armstrong. Here we go, fellas, let's go. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Ball, ball, ball. Pena makes the grab, two down. The batter, number 13, second baseman, Mark. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Mark Roberts. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And that one fouled off. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. 0 oh, and 2 now. And down on strikes. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Marlins, and it remains 1 0. Bottom of the six. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Kevin Weinstein. For the Marlins. Mac, back the to catcher, work. Kevin. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Got a pitch to hit right there with two strikes, but just couldn't get a piece. Tell you what, now that screwball is so fielder. unique, and it's so rarely Jamie. seen. I, I think it can be Sell tough for any hitter just to get a piece of it, no matter where it's placed. As a hitter, you're just not used to seeing a pitch moving that way here. and getting on the same plane as it comes into the hitting zone. And now here is Jaime Salazar. First pitch just misses. The fish right, right hitless so far in the game. Swing and a miss, a and it's a ball, ball to strike. One, strike. one down, base is empty. Swings through that one out one, front two. that time. That's to third. Whips it across, two up, two down. The left field, number five, Connor Scott. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Miami, Connor Scott. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Two outs here, two outs here. That one's in there, 0 and 1. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Where's it one now? Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. 
inning over. And one, two, three go the Marlins. Still up against a six nothing deficit. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Steve Ojeda. The right fielder. You know, he's been so great today. Really Ojeda. just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken Five off the four. catcher very much at all today. Here we go, boys. And the right hater deals. And fouled off. That one pushed foul. Next Whoa. offering down in the dirt. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Strike. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. No. Next one misses two and two. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Oh, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee for him, up but I don't care Marlins. where a knuckleball ends up. Basement. Those things dance all Roots. over the place. And nice, even when they pass right through the hitting zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. So digging in, Bruce Kaiser. Bruce. And that's in there for strike one. Here we go now. Swing and a miss. No Two strikes. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The Marlins still looking for their first hit in this one. Next oh, pitch off the play, and it's one and two. And here it comes. That one fouled off. The punch out there, now two away. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been now very batting. frugal today, Showstop. economical with Matthew. the pitch count. Gonzalez. And now the shortstop, yeah, Matthew go. Gonzalez. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One hey, we got two. Two down, nobody on. That's a strike, and that is strike two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. That's the inning, and the Marlins down quietly. They still find themselves down 6 zip. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Now here's the Marlins DH. Elijah the Marlins. Robinson. The Not a hitter. single base runner Elijah. through the first seven innings for these Robinson. guys. They've had no answer. The right hander back to work. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, oh, even dude. though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injuring himself. Going to now. High fly ball down the left field line. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Still rolling to start the eighth. Just five more outs to get. Up next for the Marlins, the first baseman, Tommy. Tommy Armstrong, the next up for the Marlins. Hey, get ahead right here, me.
In there, and it's 0-1. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. And he's down 0-2 no as he swings through it. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game and at least so Number far not 13. showing a ton of signs Second of fatigue baseman, Mark Roberts. here's the second baseman Mark Roberts in there for strike one He swings and fouls one off. The fish yet to pick up a hit here. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Miami down in order not going their way it's seven nothing back here in Miami bottom nine and at the plate for Miami Kevin Weinstein for the Marlins Mac back the to work Kevin he was late there, strike one. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively right, on, on their toes like never before. Oh, and two as he waves oh, at that one. Hey, we got no one here. The pitch. That's no, off the mark. Outside. Now one and two. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. That's the third. Boots it. No throw, and he reaches safely. So close, but there goes the no-no with batting. two outs in the Center eighth, fielder. and I'm sure Maybe. he's going to want that last pitch back Salazar. and think about what might have been, but you know what? He's really been amazing in this one. Total control from the first batter on. And now for the Marlins, Jaime Salazar. Lifted in the air, right field. Pena, has this one sized up? And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The left fielder, number five, Connor Scott. Man at first, Connor Scott up here now. Hey, two ball right here. Come on now. And he swings and misses That's at right. the initial offering. And a pitch. And a big swing no and a miss. Two strikes. The pitch. That's off oh. the mark. And that's ball one. Weinstein at first, one gone. And one down now, one down. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he the likes to fielder, shoot the ball four. the other way, but that Steve. time, a little anxious. Oh, hey, da. So the batting order right turns first, over. Dude. Now it's the right fielder, Steve Ojeda, for the fourth time tonight. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. We got two. Two down. And oh. that's outside.
There's a 1 1. Good Two eye ball. right there. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. And there's a foul ball. Down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this guy was so close to getting into the history books. He pitched well all game long. That one hit in the ninth inning, a little disappointing, but he got right back on track to finish it out and get the W for the team. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long 